comments and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo -woo -woo. Listen to me. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do one more time. Is Radio BAM fucking idiot? What the hell am I talking about? It is Radio BAM! And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM! Yo, some bitches, we're coming in hot right now. I have Nudie Novak with me and two special guests from Finland, Yussi and Yorki from the 69 Eyes, and they're on a U.S. tour, and it rocks. And I actually just uh, got bailed out of L.A. County Jail uh, by Johnny Knoxville just so I could fly into Philadelphia and see their first show. Actually, second show, right? Where were you guys before? Yeah, it's second show. Where, where you, you started off in Virginia, right? Yeah, yeah, we played uh, in the Springfield. Was it how how was that? Was it what yeah. it in like a like right near a mall or something? Yeah, yeah. it was, it was <laughs> next to some gas station in the mall. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we happy about it. it talking about out. Springfield, where it, it, the main gives us image of you know Simpsons. Yeah, it's a <laughs> <laughs> Homer Simpsons. Oh, that's Springfield, Missouri. That was where Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. Okay, that's why I, I was. I you thought that we were playing at at the most. I actually think that there's a Springfield in every in every state of. Uh, that's what I heard. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so I, I get caught at the airport with brass knuckles at LAX, and uh, I was all drunk and obnoxious. So they arrested me, took me in. They told me I was going to be there till Monday, uh, but instead I had a twenty thousand dollar bail. So it got sorted out in the middle of the night, and I ended up getting a flight right in time to see Sixty Nine Eyes. You know what? TLA I'm not Philly. surprised at all. <laughs> Sounds so bad. But the thing is, like. Island Def Jam Records gave me the fucking brass knuckles as a gift for me to hang in the radio room, and and the, and they asked me at the airport like, why do you have brass knuckles? I'm like, I got it as a gift from Island Records. They're like, now who would give you? I'm like, Island Records gave me a gift. They said it's one out of thirty. They gave it to people on TV and shit. You know, like, God, it was such a hassle, and I was stuck in the L.A. County Jail with this glue huffing Mexican and this <laughs> this sketchy 50 year old black dude with no shoes and he reeked like a motherfucker dude and I was just sitting there on a bunk bed and I woke up to the, the Mexican dude pissing like two feet away from me in the toilet it was so gross and I was like handcuffed it was the worst ever did so it ever came mean? up yeah did, did, did you ever thought that you're you're punked again uh, during that no no because uh, it was so late at night and we were rushing to get on a flight and uh, I punched Novak right in the face because he talked to his ex-girlfriend. He made a hundred dollar bet with me that uh, he would never talk to her again. And five days later, what do you know, he's answering her phone calls. I was happy to see Novak. He was actually finally wearing some jeans. <laughs> but it took only like 25 minutes. He was showing off. Are you still wearing those, again. Are you still on the, wearing those ball pants right now? Yeah, man. I'm not taking these fuckers off. I can't really fucking hear. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Tom Rock, he's running the boards. Fucked up as usual. So I have no microphone. So I'm just kind of hanging on the sidelines here. So I'm a little off. But yeah, I, you know, I can hear it just fine. Big pants. <laughs> are you rocking your ball pants? Yeah, I, Dunn, Dunn said he would buy me any pair of jeans, no matter the cost, no big deal. But I refuse to take them off, man. They're hot shit. Because Dunn, hot shit. We, we went on a whole tour all the way down to Miami, and Dunn had to look at his fucking ball pants the whole way down. He was like, I will buy you any jeans, any kind you want. I'll give you $500 a pair of Gucci <laughs> pants. Just take off those fucking ball pants. Fuck that, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I got laid last night. Yeah, man. Got two special guests as well as you, Signorki. <laughs> we won't say names, but they're hot to trot ladies. <laughs> yeah, well, I was with two dudes in jail <laughs> last night, so <laughs> lucky you. You were in a dick flying with fucking smell like piss while I was knee deep in uh, women. <laughs> so so you, you held the plane for me even though I was on my way to yeah, jail? Man. After that asshole punched me in the face, fucking I wanted to murder him, still held the plane for him. <laughs> But I did take a seat in first class because he didn't show up. <laughs> it just pissed me off so bad that we made a hundred dollar bet and and you didn't care at all about it. I was just like, we made a bet. So what? I wanted to talk to her. Like just because you were being such a cocky no. fuck, I was just like, I want to punch you right in your fucking face, dude. I just didn't want to. I wanted to stop talking about it in front of those people that we were with, and you wanted to keep going. So I was just trying to say anything to like not talk at that time about it because I couldn't believe it. So you drove the Lambo up here, huh? <laughs> I drove the Lambo up here and I I parked right down the block there, and there's such cocksuckers in New York City dude I, I was like I'm gonna be here for an hour and a half and then I'm leaving how much is it gonna cost and they're like well oh yeah I said that I wanted to park it right in front cause it's a goddamn Lamborghini they're like why do you want to park it in front I'm like A cause I don't want you driving it and B it's an expensive car and they're like 
well, what are you going to do for me? I'm like, well, how much does it cost to park here for an hour and a half? He's like, $30. I'm like, all right, I'll give you 50 He's like, 50 That's all you're going to give me? I'm like, what do you want me to give you? Double, you fucking jerk off? God, they suck around here. <laughs> so, so what do you guys want to play? We should start off with Gemini 5. What are they all about? Uh, uh, good, good. Dear friends of ours yeah. from Stockholm, the best cool. Swiss rock band in the planet. So, right so now, how many albums do they have? Do they have? We're like gonna two. play a song from the second, the latest one, which is called Black Anthem, and they they totally rock. They are all about. I mean, they're in, they're influenced by all these '80s classic bands, starting from Motley Crue and all that. But you know what? They 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 rock. I mean, these '80s bands they can't stand the test of time, but these guys they they're so better than than any yes, of these. Yes, they sort of up fans. update the Holly the Hollywood Sunset Strip sound. Yeah. And it's like uh, uh, they come from Stockholm, Sweden, so it's, it's pretty much like uh, they transformed actually the rock scene in the Stockholm nightclubs like pretty much like like it was like back in the 80s. That's really cool because these guys run the clubs there as well. Oh, and really? We, yeah. took, we took them a couple of times to support us in Finland and, and, and they're such a great band. Yeah, Gemini 5, if you want glam rock, go to Stockholm, Sweden or listen to the next track. So uh, let, let's hear track three off of this new Gemini 5 album, and uh, then we have some 69 Eyes on the way. So uh, this is Radio Bam Series 28 Faction, and you're listening to Gemini 5. Due to the graphic nature of this, this program, you need to come check this out, man. Say hello to everyone. Hello to everyone. Can I talk? Yeah, what's up, everyone? I didn't know you were recording this shit. <laughs> I didn't know it it's on. It's on the radio channel now. No. Yeah. Fucking kidding me. You can't say that. I'm sorry. Serious 28 fashion. <laughs> that was Gemini 5 from Stockholm, Sweden, and I'm sitting here with UC and Yorki from the 69 Eyes. They're on their US tour, and tonight they're playing the Bowery Ballroom, and uh, and I'm here to see it, luckily, because I just got out of jail. Yeah. I was in fucking jail. Fucking moron. <laughs> Dude, I like, and the people were so amazed in jail. They were like, you've never been arrested. I'm like, no. Tell like, you you've never been yourself. processed. I'm like, no. I had to name my, I had to name drop myself fucking right. so many times because they didn't know who the fuck I were, dude. They were so clueless, and I'm just like, look, <laughs> I just did a right guard commercial for two hundred fifty thousand dollars today, and then I stopped at an island Def Jam party. They gave me brass knuckles for a souvenir, and now I'm on a plane. I have a show on MTV. I have a show on Jackass. I have a fucking this. I'm just name dropping everything. See yeah. these shoes? They have my name on it because yeah. I'm a pro professional skateboarder. Now get me the fuck out of this jail cell. So does God. your mom know yet? She just called all drunk oh, from man. Cancun. She's like, hey, I'm drunk. I'm like, yeah, well, I just got out of jail. She's like, what? Well, have fun. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> She's turning a new leaf. <laughs> She's just sitting in the beach. She, yeah. she didn't hear a word I said. I'm like, yeah, have fun at the beach. I just got out of L.A. jail. Oh, cool. Okay, well, have fun. I wish I did something bad now and had to call her. I know. I get off scot-free. <laughs> I almost went to jail last night. You what? Oh, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, yeah what happened? Fucking doing 90 down the road and uh... That was a smart move being you don't have a fucking license. Had some, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I live on the edge of life, bro. <laughs> Our merch guy got that arrested last night. Really? And, yeah, yeah, but we got <laughs> him out. He was drinking on the streets and, and well, we're from Finland. He did, didn't have a clue that it's like forbidden. So now he knows. But he yep. had like, like seven cops around him. What the hell are you doing? Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you mean? I'm drinking beer. <laughs> what bad? He just did, well, did he did he did he uh, Finland his way out of it? Pardon? Yeah, yeah. Did he, did he Finland? Well, like I mean, do you speak English? Quite little. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that right there would seal the deal yeah. for me if I was a cop. Like, wait a minute, you're drinking beer? Yeah, of course. Do you speak English? Yeah, little. <laughs> I'd be like, we drink in Finland in the streets all the time. Look, dude, he, just get out of here. He was so wasted. Yeah. He came to the bus and he was like, dude, I'm out of here. I'm going to fly back home. I'm sick of this country already. You can't even drink. <laughs> I know. Shit, I'm going to go on tour with you guys, man. It is horrible. Like, dude, you could just walk down Helsinki just sipping on a beer. No one gives a, gives two shits. But like, Well, they're surprised if it's weekend and you're not drinking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically... It's it's I, I don't like to walk around in the evenings in in the center of Helsinki, especially on weekends and summertime, because everybody is fucking drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's like like what the hell I'm doing here straight. The you cops know. will come up to you and just be like, yeah, they. Why they, do you they, not they, have a beer in your hand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's midnight and you're walking down the street and yeah, you don't have a exactly, beer in your hand. Do exactly. I have to write you a ticket? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like Why that. Why the fuck do we live in Pennsylvania, bro? Well, you if you got, if you cleared your warrants, then maybe you could go to Finland, chill out, chill yeah, out well, there, drink a pail, calm. I'm kind of what you see. 
How cool, do they not cool. recognize your warrants when you got pulled over? I don't know, man. I look up, I'm fucking, and I'm surrounded by three cop cars. I thought I was going to jail, bro. And, and they just didn't even see the warrants or anything? I guess not, man. What, I, can you just have, like, a Maryland warrant and that's it? I mean, that was a <laughs> shit. You can? I, no, yeah. I mean, I think a warrant's a warrant. No, but, I, yeah, but maybe it's not even registered in Pennsylvania, like, because cause you, you've been a heroin addict for seven years, so they're like, he ain't going nowhere. He's going to be sitting right in downtown Baltimore. Yeah, no he doesn't have go. seven bucks to get on a fucking bus to Dundalk. <laughs> <laughs> When was the last time you were in Dundalk? Oh, uh, shit. I don't know. When are you, you sending back to rehab? Where is that? About, it's, it's in just, Baltimore. It's like right outside of Baltimore. Okay. He used to skate this mini ramp out there. So, so they're going to do some music for the Dream Cellar, huh? Yeah, 69 Eyes. Uh, That's the goal. I fucking that, Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the movie officially got bought by Radar Films, so... um. Fucking hey, man! You guys need to have like the the leading we, song. We Fuck pretty much know. have the music already, but all we need is to read the script, though, so he, he can take. Oh, I have yeah. I have it in the bag for you. Oh, cool. so wow. Make, wow. make sure you remind me. All right, cool. right. We're excited. It's yeah, gonna man. it's gonna be a good movie. What a piece of shit this kid <laughs> was. <laughs> I'm buying Bartaz for the next year. <laughs> I know. I give this moron like no wonder he's so bad with money. If I gave him five hundred dollars yeah. right now, he'd be like, shot down the house for everybody. Yeah, yeah. it's all about the moment, bro. <laughs> and that's why you're flat broke, bro. <laughs> so it's like it's like summer 2007. Every kid is wearing t-shirt. Your face on it. Yeah, I'm hoping. <laughs> All right. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm shooting so. that direction. Actually, yeah. it'll be my face because I'm playing. Yeah, I know, his I know. Part. I didn't. Yeah, like, you know, you're both. Yeah. Bam, uh, bam. Maybe, maybe I could be on the back. You <laughs> could be on the front. I could be on the back. <laughs> Here we go. Double sided. <laughs> so you will have like a double identity. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't wait to do it though, because it won't even feel like I'm acting. I don't even need to read the script yeah, because yeah. I I've, yeah, I've yeah. heard the story so many times that all I need to do is just be like, dude, just action. I already know what to do. I don't throw that script away. I already read it 80 times because I live with the son, bitch, and I hear about it all day long. Did you hear me humping last night? Uh, you were playing him so yeah, loud yeah. that I couldn't hear anything. Uh, you see, she wants to fuck you like no tomorrow, bro. <laughs> oh, you told me. You see, she's Indian. Oh, uh, she. Yeah. Oh, well, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to say names. That might be bad. But she okay. wants to bang at her which way was Sunday. Okay, she told it's me. only hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's good. Bro. That's like my price. Plus tax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit, Novak would bang out Mama for good. free. Yeah. Fuck it, right? I'd bang out that dipshit with glasses behind you. Is it legal to have sex in the U.S.? I mean, you can't drink, but can you have sex? Yeah, I mean, I do on the lot. streets. I don't know. I don't, you can't have sex in the streets, but I actually asked a cop on South Street where you guys played last night. I was like, what was the gnarliest thing that you seen? He's like, oh, God, I can't even remember. But I can tell you, in an hour ago, I just caught some making ass broad taking a yeah. shit in between two yeah. cars on South Street. She was yeah. just squatting with her skirt, just taking a making ass shit in between the two cars. Ew, man. That's so disgusting. That's fucking dirt. And the cop was just like, uh, it kind of turned me on in a way. I'm like, ew, dude, yeah. you fucking <laughs> sick South Philly scumbag. He's one of those guys like to get pissed on in bed, I bet. <laughs> you probably like that too, you little scumbag. I've never had that. I have had the finger up the asshole when you're ready to come, though, and that is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to take part in that? Anyone know about it? I don't it? even want to take part in this conversation. That's why I'm playing 69 Eyes right now. This is Feel Berlin, and uh, if you're not in New York right now, then you're going to miss this shit live tonight. Morons. So uh, let's hear it. This is Radio Bam Series 28 Fresh. We're going hot right now. Oh, oh. Stop. Run for your life. That's what we found in Don Vito's ass. This is Radio Band, baby. On Faction 28. That was Feel Berlin by the 69 Eyes, and they're here right now, live in New York City. And uh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> I just got out of jail once again. You go from jail to... I love to saying that, like, because it's just so bizarre that, like, how come you missed your flight? Oh, gee, maybe because I was in jail. It was so bad. <laughs> like, and it wasn't like Philly jail or like Chester County jail. No, it was L.A. County jail. <laughs> you just say it with a whole lingo to it. But you go from L.A. County jail to a Grammys party tonight. I don't, that's such a weird mix. What the fuck am I doing It's wrong? actually an Oscars party, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wonder Boy. They just emailed me and said that they'll watch Lamborghini uh, to, if I go to this party. So I told them, yeah, and then I'll make it just in time for the... Actually... I'm not even going to drink at that thing, so I'll be at the Bowery Ballroom by at least 8.30. And there ain't no tra there's no traffic today, so, because it's a Sunday. But believe it or not, me, this was the best I've ever seen New York traffic, even though it still sucked dick. <laughs> but <laughs> it still worked out. Where'd you guys come from? You see, where were you here before? Did you stay in a hotel around here? Are you close by? No, no, we just, uh, we have a lot nightliner where we live. 
uh, during this month <laughs> while we are touring in the US. We were, we were all over New York today, like shopping like hell. I, I bought shower curtains from my, to my place. Sweet. So what are you going to carry them the whole time? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You'll lose They're so cool. Yeah, my own shower, shower curtains. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do they look like? Cool as shit. I mean, Ramon's <laughs> logos, like okay. 200 of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, that makes sense. <laughs> so, we can, how are they going? Well, they're cool as shit. It's so funny. <laughs> you guys, you see what he bought, and you would not think by the look of him that he would say shower curtains. Yeah, everybody was asking, like, they had, like, loads of cool yeah, but leather I mean, jackets and pants, and yeah. you see what did you buy? And shower curtains. Yeah, but it's <laughs> obvious if you want to buy Ramon's shower curtains, you come to New York. Uh, it's yeah. the only place to get them, I suppose. Yeah. Did you buy anything? Yorgi? Oh yeah, uh, what was the coolest that I got? Uh, I got some, um, well... I got the Hannah Rocks t-shirt. Uh, yeah, I well, flew all the way from Finland, which is the place <laughs> Hannah Rocks is from, yeah, well, to New okay, York okay, to okay, find okay, a Hannah okay, Rocks okay. t-shirt. Because all you have to do is take a cab three blocks to Annie McCoy's house and ask well, for yeah, one. He don't have any, he sold his... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I actually has his wife Hannah Rocks t-shirt, but now I have this vintage cool thing. Oh man, when I was in jail, they had to cut all my cool bracelets off because I couldn't get them off. Oh, and, really? and they cut off my rings, and Andy McCoy gave me the last ring. It was like this gold ring. Oh, yeah, I remember I, that. Yeah, I wanted it so bad that Shit. I was like, hey. and once they cut all the rings, I was like, dude, uh. let me just fucking try this one for a yeah. third time. Because I was soaping it up. I couldn't get off. I'm like, it ain't happening, dude. Uh. This thing isn't coming off. So I just sat there for like five minutes like with the reddest face, like, I'm getting this fucker <laughs> off because I'm not letting you cut it. So uh, I ended oh, up. They they broke them. They they got pliers and they cu or like oh, right. cutter scissor things like strong ones and they That's cut nasty. off all my bracelets it's and rings. Better oh, to right. do that than so cut your fingers off. They just throw yeah. them away. Did they put them in your property or what? I have them. I have them at home. They're in my pocket. It's just Sue so them. annoying. I need my. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gone to Have you ever gone to dinner with these dudes, Novak? No. Why? How's you, that? You should be like, I want a piece of chocolate and I want a carrot. <laughs> That's what his dinner consists of. That's his diet. <laughs> and he's he, skinny as fuck. And I want loads of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you keep that manly physique of yours, man? If but I was gay, I would suck your dick in a minute. But you are gay. <laughs> if the gay, but, right. <laughs> gay but good. Gay but good. Yeah. yeah. That's what me and Jordan came with the best one liner last yeah, night. Yeah. Gay but yeah. good. Novak good. prefers women, but there's a price tag to everything. <laughs> Fucking right. Do you guys agree there's a price tag to yeah. everything? How yeah. much would you bang out Tom Rock for right now? Shit, the way my funds look, fucking 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Drop them drawers, you fucking homo. Why would I call him a homo? I know. You call him a homo, but you're the one who's like, Drop them drawers, I want 50 bucks. <laughs> I don't know, Tom Rock might need it. I heard he got fired recently. He might want to fuck me for 50 bucks. <laughs> Is that the case? <laughs> Mum's no. the word. <laughs> Well, now you figured out how to do the. Now, now we, you don't need Casey anymore, right? Nope. So you got it all covered. Dude, I didn't just say that. <laughs> <laughs> I do need you, bro. That ISDN problem the other day was a tough one. Stop <laughs> sucking dick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> so you see, aren't you friends with Pink? <laughs> I've met her a couple of times. She invited me to her new place. I went there. Cool place. She rocks. She's cool. Her husband is very cool. Does she have a half pipe in her backyard? See what? Like a yeah, skate yeah, yeah, yeah. And this huge trampoline thing too. Yeah. But I haven't seen her since 2002 or so. Yeah, so she's I'm from Philadelphia, so I used to skate with her back in the day. Yeah, she, she's All actually right. in Europe at the moment. And it was so. so strange because I didn't know who she was, and she comes up to me yeah. and she's like, do you know who I am at this party? I'm like, yeah, you're the singer Pink. Why? And she's like, no, but do you know who I am? I'm like, yes, you're the singer Pink. What do you want? You know, and she's like, what do you want? Do you really uh, and then she like was like, Alicia with the green hair from Cheap Skates. I'm like, are you kidding me? You I used to skate with her when I was 13 all the time. And she I, rocks. I, she knows how to drink. I never put two and two together. Yeah, yeah she yeah. could put the hammer down. What a shame, man. A pretty broad fucking strapping on skate shoes doing fake your rocks. That's sick. <laughs> Novak hates girls that skate. <laughs> like, I don't want girls like messed up hands and scrapes on knees asking me how to do kickflips. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Just look hot and drop them drawers. Teach me a smith grind in a pool. Fuck <laughs> that shit, bitch. Just wear high heels and look pretty and make your That's nails all, all hot. It's not that hard, man. I always got to feel like... A, it's equal rights. Like they want to fucking play football and basketball. Like, just fucking look hot, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a similar thing. If, if if you know, girl, think about the girl who would love to eat sausage cheese or yeah. a lot of meat. <laughs> That's my kind of girl. Like, yeah, eat. well, you know, in that sense, but in the other sense, no, I know. You know, you know what I mean. No, like, what do you think of Yorkie's girlfriend looking like Jenna Jameson? I don't want to count. I don't want to count on that. He might punch me in the mouth. Well, that'd she's be good airtime. Beautiful. Well, well, she's beautiful. She's, she's very she's beautiful. A, something new. 
just like Congrats new, to you, new friend, new friend. Okay, all. how was it we were listening to that Ice T last night? So <laughs> We don't care if you're from Mars. If you have a pussy, we will fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've been listening to that like seven times. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we have to listen to some cool music before we go to the stage. Some, it differs, but you know, uh, last night it was like old classic body count. Body count, count. Yeah. body count. That's, yeah. that's so seriously badass. what he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't care if you're from Mars. If you got a pussy, we'll fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my that's God. It. That's a new one. <laughs> so, uh, I think we need to hear some Crash Diet, but first, I think that you guys should explain what they're all about. That. Well, last tour we had in Scandinavia. Um, about I mean, a this month ago. This band is really one of the all time favorites. It's a new band. Anyway, we were in Sweden listening to this album before every show, before we went to the States, and at the same time, it happened, and we heard that this singer, young guy, cool singer, he actually. May commit suicide, so he's not around us. And yeah, it, 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 it was sounded like yeah. so tragic and all. Yeah, that. exactly. If you listen to the lyrics of the songs, and or if you check out their album Crash Diet, Rest in Sleaze is the album. Well, perfect title in this case. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> anyway, that's definitely that's what the singer. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. And the singer was called Dave Leppard, and and you know, really beautiful young boy writing really cool songs. He looks like Mike Monroe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they, they're like like once again they come from Stockholm, Sweden and, and, and like Gemini Five they are kind of like updating the glam rock. And you know, by now you already if you know like us, the six and nine eyes uh, negative and um, for instance these bands it's pretty much like what's happening in Scandinavia at the moment like goth rock is turning in, or, or mixing up with the uh, glam rock and then it's in a good way you yeah, know all yeah. the good things are coming back you know the best parts anyway back to Crash Diet still so, it feels so weird to listen to this album like now after what happened and all that is it because of heroin? I don't know I, I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but anyway it, it makes me sad it's kind of I mean they were 20 something like it. Yeah. yeah. Really young so guys. Are, are they still going to try to to no. make the band no, happen? No, no, actually. No. They, they came to say hello uh, uh, to our uh, at our show in, in Stockholm and that was like less than a week after the, you know the news. It was really big news yeah. in Scandinavia. Yeah, the yeah. CD I gave you, Bam. Such yeah, a tragic. I got the CD from the guys and I didn't really know what to say like hey hey I'm sorry. So I, I didn't really yeah, talk with So I, I went and asked their, them to sign the CD and and then collect it all. But especially yeah. listen to this song and and the lyrics. Oh. And think about yeah, this I, this yeah. guy who could write these Let's lyrics and who has this feeling and who writes this song went so desperate that he decided to leave the planet yeah I, I, you played the song to me last night i'm yeah. fucking into it dude okay. it's so, good. so this is uh let's hear it this it's is crash a miracle. diet it's called it's a miracle and this is radio bam series 28 faction turn it up it's radio. It's radio. Ryan this is ryan dunn and you've tuned in to Radio Bam Series 28 Faction. And I have no idea why they gave us this stupid show. Whoever hired us should have their job title reevaluated, because they are a fuck up. So that was Crash Diet on Radio Bam. I just love that name, Crash Diet. It's like, crazy, man. It just yeah. sounds like it just sounds like just a full blown diet of booze, <laughs> pills, and like drugs. Like a dream come true to me, man. <laughs> and like cigarettes, you know, like. I'm hungry. We'll have a beer and a cigarette for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's a shame, man. Joy addicts make the best fucking music. The lyrics, man, sometimes. I'm telling you. I know, dude. Like, every every band that I like is usually either really drunk or just, like, hopped up in some fo shape or form. <laughs> it's just like... Like, listen to Hanoi Rocks, dude. Like, How do you not like oh, it? Oh, you know what's brilliant? That song... Remember the song Better High? He's saying, oh, yeah. life is a better high. And he's talking about, <laughs> now that I'm alright, why don't you hang out with me tonight? Nah, so I asked Tina, I'm like, so Tina, like how long's Mike Monroe been clean for? She's like, oh, for fuck's sake, maybe two days, for fuck's sake. She was all pissed. She's like, That's he was great. clean for two days and, and he thinks that, you know, he's all better now. For I thought he had a couple <laughs> years on him for that. <laughs> well, the song, yeah. it sounds like. Totally. You know, it fooled like, the fuck out of me. Shit. <laughs> it's so funny though. Who the fuck like, was the, who was the, like the Backstreet Boys singing about roses to their fucking girlfriend? You know what I mean? I want to hear something with meaning behind it. <laughs> Personally. Yo, Tom Rock, uh, get ready for track three. Oh, fuck it up. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I think this dude is worthless, man. Keep talking, bitch. It's coming. He makes me feel like I'm really on point and no one's happy shit when I'm around him, Drop dude. the hammer on you, fucking... Oh, I can't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, <clears throat> just like Novak, uh, you were really busy at the Riker commercial, weren't you? Yeah, man. Dude, uh, yo, I give Don Vito... 
He gets $25,000 to show up just for two hours and say four lines. Get extreme, get right guard. For 25 grand. That's all you have to do. Not only did he not, did he show up late, he showed up drunk and late. At like, 6 a.m. At 6 in the morning. He was, he, his all you had to do was show up. And, and uh, he shows up at That's like hard. 11 in the morning, like just all drunk and shit. For four words. Bitching about how fucking hard job he had. Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah. No, I mean, he was happy once he got there. It was like, come on, Vito, for fuck's sake. They're going up late. You get 25 grand for four words. Get extreme, get right guard. 25 grand. How about when he ate shit on the roller skates? That was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. Because the last part, the last shot of the entire commercial was Vito was supposed to rollerblade into the camera, so they had like a downhill slope, maybe like, <laughs> it was the most worthless angle, maybe like a 20 degree angle. Like, it was so mellow. But... Vito could barely even stand up there, so when he let go, he was supposed to say, good extreme, get right guard, and go into the camera. As soon as he lets go, he didn't even make it two feet. He no. fell right to his fucking ass, and it was so funny. He goes, get extreme, and then he goes, whoa, and then he falls right to his ass. He goes, oh, get right guard. Like, he still tried to finish it, and I made right guard. I'm like, dude, if you use that outtake, it'll, everybody will remember it so bad, and it's a genuine laugh because... You can tell that there's no pad at the bottom. Like, he, he genuinely fell right to yeah, his yeah. motherfucking ass on the hardwood floor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get straight. Oh, shit. Boom. Yo, get right guard. It was yeah. brilliant. It, it, was, was, it was great. And his gear, oh, wow. he had the most haggard gear on in the world. He Dude. had his spandex shorts on. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and his uh, sick belly hanging out with his skin tags. And it, and it had a big O on his shirt for odor. He gets pussy, oh, too. Like, hot pussy, man. He's Dude. Not He's not he, like fucking my mom. Dude, I'm not kidding. He goes on these college tours and uh, like girls and guys pay ten bucks to see him and get their autograph and take shots with him and stuff. And uh, he always winds up like humping like a, a strong six every night. <laughs> Maybe like a, a low seven, but a strong six. It was it, Bam's just like looking at him, hollering Shit. like, "Dude, you're fucking. You, you got to be unhealthy. You know, you're really fucking up." He's like. I'm healthier than the average bear. <laughs> no, no, he said it so much better though. Like, yeah. Vito, you are so unhealthy because he was drinking a beer at six in the morning. He's like, healthier than your average bear. <laughs> Dude, I laughed so bad. Did you ever see that cartoon Yogi the Bear? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, just the fact that Vito just, you know, said a saying from the Yogi Bear cartoon. Like, when did he happen to see that to remember to yeah, say yeah, healthier yeah. than the average bear? <laughs> so fucking funny. I don't get, I don't get his logic or theory. So when you guys flew in for your first show. You yeah. got off the plane, had to do your first show, yeah. and it was 11 o'clock here at night, but really it was like 6 a.m. at your house. Something home. like that. Right? I'm, I'm not even sure, but we, we've been up like 30 hours straight, and then yeah. straight to the show. Life, life is better high. <laughs> <laughs> yes, life is better high. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, you guys flew in from Helsinki, Finland, which is probably like a 16-hour flight straight, to, like a, that, straight yeah. to a rock concert. You didn't yeah. even check into the hotel yet, did no, you? No, 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 no. no. We just went that. straight to the stage yeah. and played the show. And that is insane. Like, flying right <laughs> from the longest flight ever, instantly yeah. going to the club and playing like a rock show. Show. That's, yeah, and then, that's, he, and that's then after, after the show, these bitches expect us to do something with yeah. them, and, and we're like, like, like tripping out, like, oh, what do you want me to do? Come on, you know, and, and like, touch my teeth, and I'm like, no, no, I want to go to sleep. Why the <laughs> fuck don't we start a rock band, man? What the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna play the triangle? I just stand there, pretend to play. But after after hearing this, about the cowbell. After hearing about Don Vito, I think we should do a tour with him. <laughs> That's like a lot of fun. Well, I, I think when girls are just like... Dude, I'm telling you, like, everybody thinks like, for instance, Man, where can I get the most girls? Well, I, I bet if we go to South Beach, Miami, we could probably get girls. Dude, fuck South Beach. Go to the most, like, haggard Virginia, like, college university, and you will guarantee get pussy. Like, just, you know, just look for, like, Massachusetts University or, like, Connecticut University. Go to any university, and you'll definitely get chicks. Fuck South Beach. Is all they look for is all your right. sick diamond watch that they can probably <laughs> yeah, get their yeah, hands yeah. on. They don't they don't care about that. They want, they want you to be yeah, rich, yeah, and then yeah, they'll yeah. hump you. College girls will just get shit-tossed and then hump whoever. I've been getting a lot of pussy at NA meetings lately, man. NA meetings? You get a lot of pussy from there, man. So, so that must be... I recommend go to like NA meetings. Yeah, uh, what's, that, what's that Budweiser in your hand right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we, we don't care. They're meeting. from Mars. If they have a pussy, we'll fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we, we still have like three weeks to go here in, in the U.S. And, and by far, I heard like Denver, it's going to be a hot place. Yeah, uh, why place. is it? That's like, so Do you have any stories from there? <laughs> well, I just heard that if you go to Denver, if you play a show in Denver, like you'll get 80% more titties and bras flown up to the stage and shit. Like, like Why Denver? Like, I don't know. Out of all the towns, like, <laughs> well, they, we should take them to the Delaware. The no, yeah, oh my lord, you'll never leave. Oh, really? For some reason, Delaware just has like some, some like hot chicks, but they're just so slutty and they admit it. <laughs> 
As soon as they come out of their mother's pussy, they throw their morals papers right out the window. <laughs> yeah, but that's what's so cool about it, because usually girls are like, by the way, this is the first time I ever did this. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come I on. usually don't do that's this. You've heard that so lie. many times. We have these friends, we call them the Delaware whores, and uh, we're actually good friends with them, but the first time I introduced them... <laughs> we're good friends with the Delaware. The first time I introduced them to Missy, like, she was like, hello, my name's so-and-so, and, um, you know... I'm pretty much a slut, and I'll be the first one to admit it. Like, just the <laughs> fact that they admit that they're sluts makes me like them even more, because they don't beat around the fucking bush. How do you not yeah. like that? It's so much better that way, instead of being like, no, I'm not me. a slut. Well, how come you just slut I'm not with the three strangers? or anything. <laughs> I usually don't do this on the first date. Yeah, you yeah. fucking liar. How many times have you said that line? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't bring boys to my home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who's yeah. yeah. anyway. <laughs> oh, man. So, Girls uh, have some great lines. So uh, let's hear another 69 Eyes song. This is a this is a track that um, isn't on the album Devils, but um, if you get the single, you're here. I, I fucking love this song. What made you want right. to write a song called Dust Till Dawn? Is it because of the movie? Uh, actually, no. No, no, not at all. I mean, the movie is about vampires. This song is supposed to be about werewolves. Uh huh. And then all the silver bullets. The song is like kind of the, yeah. our tribute to misfits. It's kind of have kind of a misfits kind it of. It totally, feel. it totally yeah. sounds yeah. like yeah. Do, do you still have the one you were like editing some footage you were skating? Yeah, yeah. With, with this song, yeah, that was like, really cool. That was so cool. I yeah, I see just, that some days. Yeah, I'll, I'll play it for you again. I'll, I'm gonna meet you guys in LA and maybe somewhere cool, else at the time, but uh. Let's hear this shit. This is uh, the 69 Eyes. They're here live in the studio in New York City, and we're going to play Dust Till Dawn. Helsinki Vampires singing Hells, about yeah. bear wolves. <laughs> singing about bear wolves. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, all right, this is Radio Bam, Sears 28 Faction. Let's hear it. Turn up the hi fi, kids. Holy Lord, Strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes because you're listening to Radio Bam. On Sears 28 Faction. That was Dust Till Dawn by the 69 Eyes, who are here right now in the studio in New York City. This is Radio oh, Bam. Boy. And somebody just cracked open a beer. Sound. <laughs> Shit. Are you jealous? <laughs> mm. I don't want to talk about it. Pissing me off. <laughs> Fucking security guard threw my beers out when I got here. I know. What's that about? You do? Yeah. Want to have it? Fucking right, dude. You know what's so funny? Like, they said that you can't have this beer in here, so you have to throw it away. So, Novak had two half filled beer so he just slugged him is all that security guard did was make him more drunk more qu sooner you oh, know yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like go. he didn't do anything positive he just made Novak get more drunk than he should be right now because he had to slug it instead of sip it <laughs> and usually comes through to save the day with a beer <laughs> what the hell kind of beer is that I don't know it'll get you drunk you tell me. Like a Christmas Fly flying beer. fish is that a Vermont beer let me see that <laughs> it smells like a dirty broad's pussy <laughs> <laughs> how would you know I've been there quite a few times. Flying fish, where the fuck is this from? <laughs> uh, last night. I want to know. <laughs> Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Well, last. Okay. That's real, right near my house. What Less there? reading and more drinking. Fuck that. Damn, quit reading the beer and drink it. I know, man. <laughs> Did I ever share the story about uh, us, us spiking in Delaware? Did I say that yet? Uh, no. Oh, fuck dude, this faggot. is the best story ever. Delaware is 10 miles away from my house, so I decided to mountain bike there, and I invited dipshit to come with me. So uh, we're biking. We stop at Wawa, which is basically a 7-Eleven, and, uh, yeah. and there's six stairs in front, and this construction worker wouldn't shut the fuck up talking to me. So I'm just like, yeah, 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 dude, whatever, whatever. All right, bye. So I go down the stairs with the bike, and I almost fall. But I didn't fall. I like racked my nuts a little bit. Novak starts laughing his ass off, and he goes, "You fucking dipshit! I would have laughed so bad if you would have fell." He's like, "All right, well, take it easy, buddy." He grabs his coffee and he goes extra careful down the stairs with his bike. His iPod cord wraps around the, the steering wheel of the bike. He drops his coffee, tumbles head over feet down the fucking stairs into his own coffee, and because he made fun of me, he just looks at the construction worker and goes, "I guess that's what I get for talking shit." <laughs> what a fucking fact! Oh, these fuckers have two broken hands, so I had to brace the fall. My chest looked like a fucking fish out of water flopping around, dude. <laughs> smoke, all, smoke, dry my smokes, coffee's all over me, iPod cord. It hurt. I was fucking mad, dude, but I could. You know, like if you get mad and scream and cuss, you look like a real asshole. Oh, dude, that's yeah, so pretty good. bad. It's so good that you busted on me first. Like, you, you're just like, what an idiot, dude. I would laugh so bad. Oh, yeah, you shit. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's tumbling head over feet with a mountain bike in his own coffee. What a moron. Yeah, and I really studied the steps, dude. I was like, that's I actually this. had happened to Yussi as well. I saw him doing the exactly similar kind of stunt. Yeah, and he's kind of remind me. <laughs> he is the clumsiest, clumsiest guy of our band. <laughs> I'm not the clumsiest, but I'm the messiest. The yeah, messiest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was middle of the street in Stockholm with my coffee all over the place. Cars like, uh, and I'm lying there on the street. If, if you look at carefully for uh, of Yusis any shirt, it's full of like these cigarette 
burn marks. That's true. Oh, that's, that's always that's like, just him himself, not yeah. paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, <laughs> he's kind of like a, you know, dangerous companion. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna let your drum set on fire, then you're gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. So how you gonna how you gonna did play you hear, rock? Did you hear the story when Andy McCoy like uh, nearly burned the hotel by by by? Like uh, he was uh, trying to lit his cigarette, but he has all these scarves around <laughs> his neck, and they start to, you know, burn. Yeah. And it was cool. This one tour he, he he did in Finland. Like I did one tour with him playing drums for him, but that was the tour before that. Anyway, every every day you woke up, walk out from your place, you saw like these headlines on newspaper papers on the cover what Andy had done. And he stole a ring from a girl. And he did this and that. But the coolest was like seventh day day on tour. And he set himself fire. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> firemen all over the place. Hotel is like full of smoke and all that. So he was like just chilling out, smoking cigarette, fell asleep, scarves, cowboy hat, everything on fly fire. And he didn't even wake up. His bandmate was like putting the fire out. Dude, you're on fire! Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was with Andy uh, in Finland, he was actually just telling me a story, and he was like using his hands to like describe the story better. And he kept putting his fucking cigarette out on my cheek by an accident. Like, dude, and, he, and he, oh, like the fifth time, he still didn't realize. Like, he was so like out of it that he didn't realize that he was like, yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, so I was sitting there writing. I'm just like, dude, yeah. stop putting enough your fucking cigarette enough. out on my cheek. Makes me look like an yeah, angel, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Shit. Well, I love the guy. He's he's the coolest. He that says that he, he like knows how to stay up for three days at a time, <laughs> like three days straight without, <laughs> like just by sipping on booze. <laughs> I don't believe that. There's gotta be another chemical added to that. Equation. Well, he's on heroin, so that puts you to sleep. Yeah, it's a downer, man. Yeah. And, like, he's been actually clean. I mean, this is the truth. He's been like no booze, like just a couple of cigarettes a day and drinking, really having healthy life, and like I'm happy for that. I'm yeah, I'm gonna rock forever, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 don't, I, I there's not gonna be a day that I'm gonna like bad mouth them or talk bad shit about oh, I love these it. guys. I mean, I love uh, when I was like 11, I was the biggest Hannah Rocks fan. Now I'm like 57, I still am. So yeah. they're, they're so cool. Me they wouldn't be the 69 Eyes without Hanoi Rocks. Yeah. Me and Villa went on a drinking binge to Tampere and we didn't eat one single piece of food yeah. the whole two days. We yeah. just drank beer the whole time. Yeah. We took the train back to Helsinki and we met Andy McCoy at this restaurant and went in the pizza came. Me and Villa devoured it in like two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and Andy just takes off his glasses and stares at both of us in the yeah. eyes and he's like, Man, you guys are really unhealthy right now. <laughs> like, 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 just the fact that you're like, huh, pizza, <laughs> just gobbled it up. And he was just like, man, you guys need to calm down, man. You guys are really bad. You know you're bad when he's like, dude, you're unhealthy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You should meet him. I, I'm dying to, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's fabulous. I, I cannot fucking wait. His music is brilliant. Brother. Brother. <laughs> hey, I might be a bad combo, though, him and I together. But he's clean now. Maybe you can't believe the power of 413 year old girls. <laughs> Remember when he said that in that interview? Because <laughs> all of his earrings were ripped out. Like, yeah. like, like he. Uh, yeah, how many does he have? Like five ear holes, well, yeah, and, yeah, and they're yeah. all completely ripped out. <laughs> so he can't even wear earrings anymore yeah. because fans just grab his earrings and rip them out of his ear. Yeah. So he's like, you can't be believe the power of four hundred thirteen year old girls, man. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> so uh, oh, fuck. I gotta get going to this uh, Oscar party right uh -huh. now in the Lamborghini. So we're gonna wrap it up with a sixty nine eyes song followed by D four from New Zealand. I'm going to the bar. So, um, get, uh, check out on the internet and find out when the 69 eyes are coming to a town near you because if you miss it, you're a fucking dip. Yeah, we want to see you. And it's going to rock. Dude, last night was awesome, and right oh, now yeah. I just heard that there's a line out the door at the Bowery Ball, oh, and it's not even dark yet. Yeah, yeah never under underestimate the power of a uh, 14 year old girl. <laughs> what, four, 413 year old girl. 13 year old girl. Yeah. <laughs> Noah, look, are you coming? We're gonna be so later. fucked up tonight. <laughs> later on, uh, we're, we're gonna party him. Yeah, we're gonna be wasted. We're gonna put it in tonight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let's paint the big apple black. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, I can Eat drink tonight game. because I'm staying the night in New York. So you the, the Lambo's gonna cool. be parked. Cool. Cool. Hell yeah. We're gonna end shit. up in deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> Better call my bail bondsman now. <laughs> All right, so let's hear it. This is Sister of Charity, 69 Eyes, followed by D4, and we're staying over and out because we're going to a rock concert. Thanks for having us. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, well, thank, you guys. thank you. So, uh, Radio Bam Series 28 Faction, later. It's Radio Bam! Radio Bam, everybody.
Radio Bam every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Hello.